This is the plaintiff, Kathy Lynn Moore. She says the defendant was dating a friend of hers, and they were planning on getting married in Atlanta, Georgia. Unfortunately, her friend suddenly passed away, and the sneaky defendant stole the money she gave her for the two flights to Atlanta to attend her deceased friend's son's wedding. The defendant doesn't know who she's messing with, because she's suing her here and now for the $5,000 she's owed, $992 for the tickets, and $4,008 for stress, aggravation, and embarrassment. This is the defendant, Tarina Sanders. She says her deceased fiancé booked the tickets and charged them to his credit card. The plaintiff was supposed to reimburse him for the tickets, and she has no idea if she ever actually did. She never canceled any flights. She had no access to the plaintiff's travel arrangements and certainly doesn't owe her former friend any money. She is accused of being just plain wrong. All parties, please use your right hand. Litigants have been sworn in. Thank you, Douglas. You're okay, Ms. Moore, you're suing Ms. Sanders for $5,000 that you say you are out, most of it in stress and aggravation, and the crux of it for two airline tickets that you say she canceled on you. Uh, you have a counterclaim for $2,000 for defamation of character. How do you guys know each other? I met her through Clarenceville. Through who? Through Clarenceville. He's deceased now. Okay. And can you elaborate? Okay. How do you guys know each other through Clarence? I'm his girlfriend. I was his girlfriend. You were his girlfriend, mm -hmm. and you were what? I'm a friend that's been with the family for over 30 years. OK, so what happened here? Well, what happened, his son was getting married. We all as sat around, and he was getting us together for the ticket to go to his son's wedding. And the son's wedding was where? In Atlanta. And you were flying from New York? Yes. OK. When you say he was getting us all together, was that Clarence? Yes, okay. Clarence, and he was telling me that Trina was the one that was finding out the information for him, and he let me know that I was to give him the money. How much money did you give him? I gave him all together, 300 and some dollars. Which was just for your ticket? Yes. All right, so there's some problem between you two, though. No, we never had a problem. Never I never had an issue with her. Never. Okay. So on the day that you're going to the wedding, there's no problem between you two? It was no problem at that time. So then what happens when you go to the airport? Well, when I got to the airport, I found out that my ticket was canceled. And By I'm whom? Like, they just said the money went back to the person that booked. And whose credit card was used to book it? This was I knew or I thought was his. Okay. So did you find out how it got canceled? I kept calling the airline until I spoke to one of the, um, someone at the desk, and they explained to me that it was canceled by uh, Tarina Sanders. Do you have any proof of that? No, it was just a phone call, because they couldn't give me the information. Why wouldn't they be able to give you the information? Because I didn't book it. And okay, I could, but I don't if have... she didn't book it, and Clarence did, how were they able to let her cancel? The... This is the problem. I know that, that... Did the mom get on the flight? Yes. yes OK. What did you do? You were going to a wedding, so you just paid whatever they told you to pay to get there. Yes. When I got right. there, they so canceled. So Clarence, I, I know, has passed away. And yes. I'm sorry to hear that, because I know both of you loved Clarence. Yes. Now, Clarence passed after the wedding? No. Before. Before. August 4th. Oh, and Before what day the was wedding the wedding? Was the September 1st. Oh, what a shame. September 3rd. September 3rd, but that was... So at the day that you are flying to the wedding, Clarence has already passed. Passed, yes. yes. And yes. then they told... They did, when I went to the desk, they did explain to me that the ticket was canceled on the 27th, which he had already passed. He was dead already. Yeah. So, so he that, couldn't have canceled. Exactly. So somebody canceled Exactly. That. And she thinks that somebody's you. And why would she do that such a mean thing to you? And now I, let's get to the problem. Because there has to be a reason why you think she would do that. It, I, they was, she was having problems with the family to, and different things was going on. Him and her, was, they had broken up. So she was upset about that. So I'm assuming that... She got disinvited I, to the wedding. Right. 
And then and added, your ticket, it was your ticket and the mom's ticket, but the mom's ticket didn't get canceled. It was exactly. just yours. Exactly. So what she got against you in and particular? This is why I, I'm having a problem with that. Because I just think that she did it because she was upset with the mom and she. Yeah, but she didn't do the mom. The mom she, had her ticket. She knew she knew not to do it with she the knew mom. Better. Is that who's the mom? Is she here? You're the mom. You're right. I would mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Listen, I never even dealt with her pertaining to the tickets or his mom. That's number one. Number two, I didn't cancel any ticket. I don't have no reason. I had nothing against Mecca at all. But then Nor who, the mom. Who canceled <laughs> it on the 27th? I didn't. I didn't well, cancel it. who did? Who else who? could have? What other theory know. do you have? I really, really don't. And see, because he booked it on under, he booked not just my ticket, his kid's ticket and everything <laughs> under my JetBlue log on. But what matters and where payment goes to when something gets canceled it's is... It's no payments. It's points. That's how JetBlue does. When you, when you cancel, when it's a canceled ticket, it's points. They don't refund the money to an account. Right. Not back to a credit card account. So you got how many points? Um, that gives you more incentive to want to cancel her ticket because no, it I ends up no, going I to your no account. I had no problem with them. <laughs> I didn't even know I had a problem with the mother. Well, there was a funeral. <laughs> Right? Right, there was a funeral. And it was before the wedding day. This was before the wedding day. And there was day. a problem at the funeral. At the, there was no problem at the oh, funeral. Oh, you want to tell me what happened at the tell funeral. Me. She was acting, well, at the repath, she was acting up. And I said to her, I said, oh. Trina. Acting up how? I, she was That's like, right. she said, they don't want me here, but I'm here. We I'm have here. Wait, who is it. the? Me. Oh, <laughs> go ahead. So she comes in. I said, Trina, calm down. This Mom, is not... come up. I'm, I got some questions to ask you. Go ahead. I said, calm down. I said, this is not the time for this. I said, this is, I said, I don't want, I said, I'm in charge of seating people. Please just calm down. Don't bring that here. So she went on because someone else intervened. And then they started, she started arguing with somebody else. It just broke into a big argument, big brawl. What is the problem between you and her? I'll tell you exactly. She used, she just didn't treat him right. Call him all kinds of names because he was heavy. I used to hear her call you big fat this, you big fat. How could you love somebody like that? Had you gotten along with each other before that? Not really. So you guys never got along. All right. And then who's a gentleman who's with you who was raising his hand? My witness, my nephew. Come on up. What's he a witness to? To the lies that they're telling. Meaning? Meaning. At the I funeral? Never had... He went to the funeral? Yes, I was. Yes, oh, he was tell present. me what you saw at the funeral. Did you see any brujahas? There was no brujahas at all. It was very calm. We had our own section. Donnie Brooks? No Donnie Brooks at any, all. Any, uh... <laughs> <laughs> We See was it. invited to the repast by Vivian's sister. And I told Aunt Francine, I said, Aunt Francine, I don't know, your sister is acting funny, OK? So she said, no, come, I paid for it. So we came, we walked in. Why did you feel like you might not be welcome? What was the reason? Right, because when I came into the funeral parlor, I said, Viv, is everything OK? She just gave me a look as if I shouldn't have even been there. That's number one. I had my whole family came from Atlanta, OK, and from Queens, and friends that supported us, OK? We did go and sit down, OK? I don't even remember Mecca even speaking to me. The matron, I guess, of the hall, she said, there are people here that is not welcome here and is not invited. On the so, microphone she said that? Yeah, she said it on the microphone, which that I That sounds looked, like a problem. I got up, my aunts got up, and my stepmother got up, and... How did we, you know they were talking about you? You know why? Because she was looking right at us. There was no argument and no brawl. You know what happened? I'd be kind of mad if people were no, telling you know me to leave the funeral mad? of my boyfriend. No, you know why I wasn't mad? Because they know what it was. You understand? No, yeah, they but I don't, take, and I keep asking. They, I'm getting ready to tell you. They were jealous. They were from the other side of the tracks. She didn't really love her son. She didn't love her son. Don't say that. She can. It I, was don't sad. say that. I don't want you to say that in my courtroom because you okay. got no business saying okay. that. You don't have the knowledge of that. You're absolutely you don't, right. You know, I don't know if you are a mother. You don't yes, want to hear that, a, that that somebody say you didn't love your deceased son. Yeah. Stop. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. Should friends and relatives get involved in, in money transactions with each other? Uh, I don't think so because money is a sensitive subject. So uh, even if it's your relative and friends, 
Well, they, even if, I'm wondering especially because. Yeah, because they'll take advantage of you because they know your family and you'll let it go and let it go. So never, because it'll, it'll ruin the relationship. You must have interesting holiday dinners. Happy, yes. <laughs> that part. I say uh, never mix money with family because uh, it ends relationships. So before I loan you money, I'd rather give you money. This is a smart group. This is a smart group going inside the courtroom. Why would anybody ask her to leave? Why, can't, why isn't she welcome there? If she loved Clarence and Clarence loved her, whether you approved of her or not, why is she being asked to leave a funeral? And I just felt I didn't want her there. And first of all, she didn't even speak to me when I went, came into the funeral. That's a lot. Right, let me ask you a question. Everybody stop and let me ask you a question. What did you see happen between her and her on that day? I hadn't come yet. I hadn't come, come to the repast yet. I was still at home. I so she there. was the one who yeah, was speaking was to the matron there. of the pl and asking, yeah. right? Because she ah, doesn't. Ah, the plot thickens. Was, she and why were you asking them to say on a microphone, "There are people here who are not welcome"? Because, because you're friends with her and you knew how she would feel. The problem is when she came in there, it was such an uproar. I had to go get the lady to ask them before she got okay. there to leave. To okay. leave. And because now we get down family. to the motive for why it is that she might want to cancel your ticket. Because oh. she's got the credit card number. She has the information of how it was done. And the, uh, the only thing I got to confirm is whether that happened on the 27th. Because if they got canceled the after August 4th, it certainly wasn't him. Right. The 27th of the what? The 27th of um, August. Right. And he was dead. So it wasn't him. But I didn't cancel it. If not you, then who? You're the okay. only other person with access to it. It's it your, it's anybody. your Jeff. It could have been. It could have been Martians. It could but have been you're anybody. the one who just had a problem with her throwing you out of your boyfriend's funeral. You're the one who has access to the account because it was done on your account. You're the one who has the credit card number, last four digits, because that's the only way you could cancel. And you're the one no, that no, ended no, up no. benefiting, getting all the points of the cancellation. Yeah, if you stayed, I stayed. And then what had? Do you have one. proof of how much you had to pay in order to get the new ticket? I uh, the proof I had, I didn't get the from. I know. The I have to statement. know how much it cost you. How, why would you come in without that? That's kind of integral. I know, but it, just the the, the two. All right. Here's what's going to happen. Just stop. Here's what's going to happen. I am going to order the defendant to pay you the six hundred and eighty-three dollars and forty cents. But you are going to have to provide me with proof of the amount that was on your credit card. I will. So I'll give you a week to do that. Okay. And assuming that it's that amount, my verdict stands at $683.40. Verdict for the plaintiff. Thank you. So Judge Melian fines for the plaintiff for $683. Ms. Sanders, she is convinced, the judge is convinced you canceled the tickets. What no, do you think? I didn't cancel the ticket. And I was not upset regarding them asking me to leave the uh, repass at all. I don't know where that came from. And I never dealt with her with money. You weren't at all no. upset being asked to leave? No, because you know why? I had my own thing going on for my man. That's why. Okay. What do you mean by that? I had a repass already set up at a restaurant that we had, and I had my own limo to go to the service. I even had my own um, obituary made up. So I wasn't upset about that. If okay. anything, I was right. shocked. All right. Thank you very much. Thank Debbie. you. Okay. All right, Ms. Moore. All right, so you understand what you're, you're not getting $5,000, <laughs> which is what you were suing for. If you'll, Vivian, if you'll turn around over here. Oh, there you go. Okay. okay. All right. You know, you're lucky. You didn't have any proof of what you paid. Then she's going to give it to you if you can get exactly. it. Exactly. I will have the proof. I just didn't give my statement part you, of you it didn't think because I thought I would have enough proof with the receipt from the Not MRI. enough. Not enough. All right. Well, anyway, she says there's no bad blood between you? No? Not now? She's right. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much. Glad we got this all straightened out. Thank you, Vivian. <laughs> okay. Harvey? So, look, I kind of agree with these guys, but if you do lend friends and relatives money, it's especially important to nail down all the terms in writing to preserve the relationship. That will do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now.